Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. And um, today I'm gonna show you what I've been using over the last few months. Cause it's been a while, right? Since I've chatted through just like my daily products, just what I'm using on my like day to day face. And um, I know, you know, I've done lots of these before, like get ready with me is my daily face and things. But I just thought, cause there's a few added in things from like the last time that I've filmed. Um, so I thought, um, it's nice to like show the newer things that I'm enjoying and also it's nice to just come and have a little chit chat. Um, I'm gonna start with the Vive Skin Nova, which, oh my God, I'm loving this. I've only been using it for about a week or two. Um, it's such a nice primer. I've actually been using a mix of these two foundations. Um, recently, this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I try not to mix them because I know it's probably not good to mix two formulas, but sometimes I, I mix them because I need a colour in between the two. And um, this is this one is Syracuse and this one is Stromboli. What I've also been doing is mixing a pump of this, pump, sorry, a little, not a pump. I've been mixing a smidge of this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Highlighter with the foundation. Um, and then also what I've noticed a lot recently is that my forehead is a lot um, darker than like, you know, the lower part of my face. So sometimes I sort of mix two different um, shades in my hand. Um, I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques sponge today. I haven't actually used this. I haven't used this for a long time, but I got a new one yesterday because I was in boots. And um, I've been using the same damn makeup brush for like, brush, makeup sponge for, um, I don't even want to say how long because it's very embarrassing. <laughs> so I was like, I need, I need a new one. So I'm actually finishing my base, like blending my base with um, just my foundation brush because my stippling brush because um, I feel like the sponge isn't giving me the coverage actually that I want. It's probably it's good for like day to day, but um, when I'm on camera, it's like you need a different. <laughs> sometimes like things come up a bit differently just lowering my jumper because I'm actually getting really hot um, this jumper's from um, Zara in case anyone wondered because um, I posted it on my Instagram and some people were asking on there the other day um, it's really comfy but it, it's like a little I have to warn you it's like a little bit scratchy you know when you get it's like a little bit scratchy and I'm like why would you do this because why do we want to be feeling scratchy but um <laughs> but it's such a nice colour um, loading up on the lip balm at the moment because because it's getting colder suffering yeah that base is okay you can see that there's a like a little bit of a glow to it but also because i've got like a little break out here i've got scarring my forehead so i need to conceal up <laughs> it's just like it just catches the light sometimes i feel very 80s with this headband on but you know sometimes it's just easier <laughs> to have my um hair out my face when i'm filming i'm gonna use the nars radiant creamy concealer under my eyes this is in Ginger. I think I need to get a new one of these actually. This brightens really nicely. Some a little bit here. Down here. That's where I have like kind of shadow, natural shadow there. Well not shadow, but it's hyperpigmentation basically, but it looks like shadow. Um and then I'm gonna Sponge this in. How are we all? <laughs> Thank you for all of your love on my last um, video where I was showing you the new jewellery and um, my little birthday like day out. Um, it was such a nice day. I won't lie, it was stressful as well. And obviously it's like, I, I'm not, um, not vlogging the bits where like Indy was having a breakdown. <laughs> like, crying in the middle of the street, do you know what I mean? Because um, <laughs> like, I don't want to give the impression that, you know, when I'm doing these like mum, mum days, it's all like rainbow, like sunshine and rainbows, because it's hard as well. Um, but you know, I just wanted to do a little sort of highlights, you know, it's a highlights. But she had fun as well, but she got really tired, I think, because I squeezed so much into the day. I think she was done actually by like five. <laughs> 5 p.m. But anyways, um, that was actually ages ago. I was just so late getting it up, but um, 
yeah halloween is coming up and actually probably just about halloween when i'm going to be posting this video um but yeah halloween is my favorite time of year <laughs> even though i haven't done like halloween you know makeup looks for years yeah i just love it i don't know why i think it's because like i love christmas but by the time it's christmas because everything christmasy starts like just after um halloween by the time it's christmas i'm a bit like i've had enough <laughs> like obviously i love it for indy like for her now but you know like you know all the shopping all the songs all the films i get a bit christmas christmas out by like 10th of december but i'm always here for the food oh my god any excuse for food, all the food. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's leave down below what you're being for Halloween because I need to, I need to decide. I think I'm gonna go basic bitch cat. <laughs> Maybe just like cat woman is so basic, isn't it? But also I'm a Leo, so I'm like, it kind of, mm, you know, it makes sense. And sorry, but Zoe Kravitz is cat woman. I simply can't Fenty matchstick and truffle. You guys are probably so sick of <laughs> some products. I'm just like, I need to switch it up. But you know when they just, they're doing what they came to do, you know? I'm wearing my new earrings, my new Ibiza hoops. I'll link everything down below. I'm also wearing my Tommy Locket. This, please, can you not? Come on. The Fenty Instant Retouch Concealer. Um, what was that? <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, I went and got two shades of it recently because I like, kind of rediscovered it. It's so good, like the coverage is so good. It's high coverage. Um, so I've got one in 310, which is more like a, a, a lifting um, shade for me and then 330 which I'm gonna use now on anywhere that I feel like I've got kind of like scarring um, this spot I've also been getting a lot of um, like scarring and breakouts along my jawline so if I'm going out I won't really do this as much day to day but if I'm going out then I'll conceal there with this the shade I'm just going to powder, I'm going to set like under my eyes. I'm using the Laurie Mercier, this is all I've been using recently as well, this is Laurie Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. It's really nice. Because it's so fine, such a nice light powder. Also I just love the size of it, it's like really, I don't know, just handy, handy size. What else has been a bit newer that I can show you guys? Because I feel like I've been doing a lot of the things that you guys have already seen. A lot of the time, for the last few months, I've been using this Dior, actually, these are two different ones that are very similar. <laughs> Basically, these, like, bronze shadow sticks. This one is Dior um, Cooling Stick in 001. And then this is the D&G Beauty um, Stick in Taupe, number five. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one, the Dior one. This is mostly what I grab for. It's a little bit darker, actually, than that shade. So it gives you, you know, it gives you that look where it looks... My hair's gone so... It looks so puffy at the top, but it's not. I think it's this band. <laughs> um, yeah, so it gives you... This one gives you the illusion of, you know, having spent quite a while on your um, eyeshadow, but you haven't at all. <laughs> and then I just sort of blend it out. This blends so nicely. It's also like, you can really layer with it. Really love the payoff. And then it depends how grungy I feel like going sometimes. Sometimes I put quite a lot. Sometimes I don't, but yeah. Oh, brows. I'm so sorry, this isn't something new. This is something that it's all, I've been using it all year. <laughs> it's the Refi. Um, oh my God, the labels come off and everything, but it's basically the brow gel. And it has um, this at the top like i need a new one of these i think they've started selling them in um selfridges actually so 
I need to get myself to Selfridges. Oh my God, there's also this perfume that I've discovered when I went there last and oh, I need to go and get it. But you know, I'm so weird with perfume. Like, I don't know why, but I could spend money on myself and other things like makeup, for example. Like if I'm in Selfridges and I'll be like, oh, that, like I need that on one of the makeup stands. But for some reason, like on the perf, in the perfume area, I'm like, oh no. I'm just like, no, I can't, I can't. Like, I just don't, I don't know, it's weird. I guess because it's not like a necessity, it's not. But then I would wear the perfume all the time. But anyways, I might do a little vlog actually when I go and get that because I also really want to get some more piercings in this ear. I want to get, yeah, I just want to like add a few piercings in. So that could be a fun vlog as well. Go on like a little date day again. Um, then I'm going to fill my brows in, but you know what? I'm just going to whiz through that because I've done that so many times on my channel but i use the mac um shape and shade brow tint in um spiked and i like to do them quite freehand so they look quite natural not too perfect i mean freehand as in like i'm not going and making sure it's you know all the brush strokes are the exact same all the way along even though i do make sure they look neat and then i like go back and see if it looks even and then if it looks too harsh i go with a spoolie and just brush them out i've been using this a lot like over summer this is the refi um, cream bronzer in tan and I actually had another oh my god I had another shade which was it was a bit lighter than this one it was a bit more better for my skin tone I would say like but yeah I was on a night out oh my god and I lost my whole makeup bag yeah I'm so I'm sorry I don't want to talk about it I'm still upset it was a NARS makeup bag with like oh anyways I um just use also the refi brush Love this brush, it's perfect size. Gonna add a bit more warmth. Whoa! <laughs> add a bit more warmth! Add a bit more warmth in. Losing my damn mind. Always a bit on the nose as well. I look so 80s with this colour. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Like the headband, the colour, the off the shoulder. Like I'm gonna like break out in song. Recently I went and um, picked up the um, Benefit roller liner in brown because I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Also like I used to use this, I used to love this, the brown version instead of the black because it just gives you a bit, it doesn't look as heavy. Um, you know, it's that little bit softer on the face when you're doing um, quite a bold flick and it's in brown. So I thought, um, yeah, I thought I'd pick this up again. Even though I will say, I find that this one fades a bit quicker. But I mean, you know, the black version is probably naturally just gonna last longer. So yeah, this is good for like a daytime option. So I'm trying to, I'm watching you again. Oh my God, I'm so glad that you was back. And also, oh, Squid Games was so good. But I don't really like the end of it. I don't know, I don't know how I feel. But yeah, is there anything else you guys are watching? Do you know what I'm so gutted about? I'm so gutted that there's not another um, Haunting of Hill House. Oh my God, that is so good. Like, especially at this time of year where it's um, coming up to Halloween and it's oh, just the whole vibe of it. And it's so good. But obviously like the girl that's in that is in you, so. I don't know, but I hope they make another one. For a nice sort of natural glow highlight, not one that's too sort of like in your face, I am gonna use the YSL, what is this called? Stick highlighter in number four bronze. Just put a bit there, a bit there. What is this light doing now? I like to go in to where my natural beauty spots are. I've got one here with my um, brow pen and then I just, um, and just darken them again. So they come out. And then, if I'm in the mood, then I add more like around my nose 
And before I've got like I've bought a special like freckle pen online and things like but I just always go back to my eyebrow pen. Um and my trick is that I try to do them in clusters, I try not to um have them too spaced out because I think it looks a bit more natural when they sort of have little clusters. And then I also like dab them down so they don't look too intense. <laughs> but this never lasts very long. Like when I do this on a night out, literally they're gone. In like an hour, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, they passed away. Lip props that I've been obsessed with over the last few weeks is this. It's not new from Victoria Beckham. It's been out for quite a while, but it's just another one that I've sort of rediscovered because I think I, so obviously now we're in autumn winter. I was looking for something that mm, had that vibe to it, but that wasn't like a full, like a full on heavy lipstick or something that I'd have to keep like touching up during the day. And this is the Bitten Lip Tint. Um, yeah, I've been using this like every day at the moment because it's so nice and subtle and layerable. My battery is about to die. <laughs> Lip gloss that I've been obsessed with has been the Huda Beauty. This little baby in a um, blush. So nice. So mm, just like nice. Such a silky lip gloss um, and really softening as well. Um, yeah, I've just been loving that. I've been using that since like summer, spring, summer as well. Oh, I didn't do my bottom lashes. I'll put this lip gloss on over. Just, you know, might as well. This is what I was wearing on the weekend, actually. The the lip bite and then the slip gloss over. Um, these are the things that I've been using recently. And I know a lot of them aren't new things. I just thought it'd be nice to have a little sort of catch up. Yeah, my jewellery, obviously, I will link down. I was going to say downstairs, not downstairs. I will link down, <laughs> down below. Um yeah my rings as well obviously are mine i'll link the jumper if it's not available then i'll try to link similar ones maybe on asos or something as well thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon and i hope you're having a lovely day or night bye Mwah.